Brisbane Lions head coach Chris Fagan joined Alistair Clarkson in expressing his frustration with the ongoing racism investigation and said he felt slandered for not having the opportunity to tell his story. Amid the consequences of Clarkson's tirade on Thursday, which Hawthorne called embarrassing his handling of the process, Fagan empathized with his former colleague and longtime friend. While Fagan said he wasn't thinking about everyday extended saga, the Lions mentor was upset that his name was constantly getting stuck in mud. I can totally understand where he's coming from, Fagan said on Friday. This investigation has been going on for eight months and we haven't had a chance to tell the truth, but we have to endure weekly articles about it and almost some degree of defamation. It's getting harder, so I understand where it's coming from. Michael Wilson AFL Media Fagan made a statement earlier this week, through his attorney, concerned that Bernard Quinn Casey, chairman of Independent Board Investigating Allegations, had given details of process to media. Clarkson was harsh on Quinn and Fagan, who denied any wrongdoing regarding historical allegations of racism against the players while at Hawthorne, was hopeful that he would soon have an opportunity to tell his side of story. The thing about it is that my conscience is clear, so I sleep well at night, she said. These are the only parts one can control. Hopefully things can be settled in the fairest way and somewhere down the road, I'm not sure when that will happen. I don't live my life thinking about it every day. Lions coach Chris Fagan says he doesn't think about the investigation every day. Via Chris Hyde AFL photos we are keen to assist in the process, but we must make sure that it is fair and fair to all parties. Despite calls from former Hawthorne chairman Jeff Kenner to shut down the investigation, outgoing AFL CEO Gillan McLachlan said that wouldn't happen. We need people get to this if it's at a point where it's a complete impasse, at some decisions have been made, but we're not there, McLachlan told 3AW on Friday. It's really important that this independent panel ends, and I'm hopeful that people can talk and find a way. These are incredibly serious allegations, and the course of the process has taken a huge toll on both sides.